Hi guys, today I want to talk about resistors in series and parallel. The equation uh, to calculate the total resistance for resistors in series and parallel and where that comes from. Uh, so we're going to talk about the derivation of these equations. So let's begin. So in series, okay, well, firstly in series, the thing to note is that the current is the same everywhere in our series circuit. The total voltage out is equal to the voltage across the first resistor plus the voltage across the second resistor. So Vt equals It plus, sorry, times Rt. V1 equals I1 times R1. V1, uh, V2, sorry, there's a little, slight little mistake there. V2 equals I2 times R2. So Vt is equal to I1 R1 plus I2 R2. Uh, which is equal to IT RT, but we know the current everywhere uh, is the same. So IT equals I1, which is equal to I2. Okay, so IT RT is equal to IT brackets R1 plus R2. Okay, so the I's are the same on both sides, so they can, but effectively they cancel. And that leaves us with uh, R total, the total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2. And then carrying on, if we had R3, R4, R5, just add them all together. Okay, so what about in parallel? So in parallel, okay, this time, the voltage across each component is the same. So the voltage out from our little cell there is gonna equal the voltage across V1 and the voltage across V2, they're all equal. Now, the current leaving the cell, uh, I total, well, that's gonna split at the junction and then that's gonna be equal to I1 plus I2. Okay, so Vt equals It Rt, V1 equals I1 R1, and V2 equals I2 R2. So Vt over Rt equals It, V1 over R1 equals I1, V2 over R2 equals I2. Okay, we substitute into the equation, uh, and we get Vt over Rt equals V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2. But we know Vt is equal to V1, which is equal to V2. So uh, we therefore find that 1 over the total resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 uh, plus 1 over R3, 1 over R4, carrying on for as many resistors as we like. Okay, guys, I hope that has been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.